guys, my name is Brandon, welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome back to another video. Now just before we jump into this video guys, I was on the live stream on 100% Chelsea the other day with the guys and I basically was joking around saying that, you know, diss tracks are everything right now. I was joking, but if you guys head over onto my personal channel, you help me get to more than 300 subscribers, I will be dropping a diss track, which you'll probably, not really, want to see. So, make sure you go and do that now, but let's get into the video. So today's video is a basically a timeline from end of the last season to this season of Diego Costa. What's happened with him? What's happening with him? No one really knows. We're all confused. So I've done some digging into the story. The guys at 100% Chelsea have also done some digging into the story. And we're going to give you guys some exclusive news. Possibly you could say it's exclusive. It's broken in the last couple of days. Not that exclusive. But anyway, we're going to get into the video. It started... We won, the, we won the league last season, everyone knows that, everyone was happy, and it kind of went downhill from there. Diego Costa was out, basically with Spain, training and playing international friendlies with Spain. This is where it kind of goes downhill, whereas apparently, after the game with Colombia that they drew to all in, Diego Costa came out into the media and said that Antonio Conte had sent him a text message saying that he's not going to be returning to Chelsea, he's not in his plans for next season, and... Costa basically said that his relationship with Conte this season was not the best. The text message reportedly said, Hi Diego, I hope you're well. Thanks for the season we spent together. Good luck for next year, but you are not in my plan. Take of that what you will. Costa apparently just replied, OK. And then he forwarded the message to some of his Chelsea teammates. It kind of went again, like... Costa then went AWOL from training. He didn't return to pre-season training when everyone else returned. He was pictured out in Brazil wearing an Atletico jersey from his Instagram live story. He was also seen commenting on, I think it was Cesc Fabregas' Instagram live, saying, make sure you give Antonio a hug from me. A sarcastic comment. Now, ever since then, Conte did come out into pre-season and confirm that Costa was no longer in Conte's plans, in, in Chelsea's plans at all, and... He was training in isolation, if you can say he was actually training at all. He didn't return to the UK. He was, again, I think he stayed in Brazil. He stayed on a prolonged holiday. And that's basically what kind of happened for a long time. It was it went very, very silent. Chelsea then went and signed Alvaro Morata. Michi Bacuay started um, playing a lot of pre-season games. And the reports as well came out that Costa had been saying, ever since Conte joined the club, that he wanted to join Atletico. And he said that to Conte straight away, and that's why their relationship was so rocky. Obviously, Chelsea had rejected a £90 million bid in January from a Chinese club for Diego Costa. And basically, I don't know if they forced him to stay at the club, or they came to a mutual agreement saying that he could leave in the summer. But he did stay at Chelsea, and again, did his job, scored goals. He did come out again in January and say he wanted to leave and go to Atletico Madrid. That's when a lot of fans started to get slightly agitated with Diego Costa especially when you're playing for your club, who at the moment are top of the league, are going to win the league. So that was the story up until a couple of months ago. Now, this week has been some more news come out about Diego Costa, what's going on with him. Now, earlier on in the week, a journalist by the name of Adam Crafton apparently knocked on Diego Costa's door whilst Chelsea were 3-0 down at Burnley and basically just had an interview with him. In this interview, Diego Costa came out and said, I feel like I've been treated like a criminal. I've been a good boy. They want me to train with the reserves. They will not let me have any access to the first team changing rooms, the first team training facilities. They won't let me see any of the boys at Chelsea. This is where the article starts to become a bit more personal towards Chelsea and the fans and things like that. In this interview with Adam Crafton, Diego came out and said, My desire is to go to Atletico. I have rejected other offers. They want to sell me to China or other teams. I'm off. I'm going to the club I want to go to, not the club that's paying the most. That's what he came out and said in the interview. Now, also in the interview with Adam Crafton, Diego Costa came out and said, The worst bit of all this is for the fans. They have always treated me so well. Always. Always. For this, I am sad. I want the fans to know that I care about them deeply still. That's where it kind of tucks on the heartstrings of a Chelsea fan. You know, he, he had a rocky relationship with Conte from day one because he said he wanted to go back to Atletico. He had a rocky relationship with the fans at times because he did come out and say he wanted to go to Atletico and a lot of people didn't like that, didn't appreciate that he, want, he was being truthful. And to be honest, at least he was being truthful. At least he wasn't lying and covering it up and then, and then left in January um, or in the summer without any of us knowing. More news has broken that Chelsea have 
fine Diego Costa two weeks of wages, which would be about £300,000 for not returning to pre-season training when everyone else did. More news has also broken that Chelsea expect Diego Costa to return to the club to do first team training, to get match fit and to be back in contention for selection. A lot of Chelsea fans get excited by this. Now, don't read into it too much. What that basically means is they're expecting him to come back to the club that he is legally contracted to and train. That will help him and Chelsea be able to sell him. If Atletico want to buy Costa, they're not going to want to buy him when he's not match fit. And that will knock the price down even more. In my opinion, what that means is Chelsea are getting Costa back. They're going to say to Conte, look, he's training. He's training with the first team because that's the only way that we're going to be able to sell him for a profit. If that's what happens, so be it. Now, there are also rumours floating around on Twitter. They're not confirmed rumours, but I thought I'd let you guys know anyway, so you, you're in the loop. Apparently, Chelsea have threatened Antonio Conte with the fact that he wants three more signings. He needs to include Diego Costa in the Chelsea team to get those three signings. Now, I personally can't see that being true. He signed a contract with Chelsea that stated that he will be getting more players before the start of the season. Obviously, that hasn't happened yet, but we've still got another three weeks left of the transfer window, so it could and should still happen. Obviously, when you'll be watching Lawrence's transfer show, you'll know all that's going down in the Chelsea transfer news at the moment, so you'll be up to date with it all. But Conte is in for a lot of people at the moment, and in my opinion, he's a very strong and stern manager. I think everyone knows that. He's not going to go back on his word of not including Diego Costa in his plans. And if Chelsea are threatening him to use Diego Costa in order to get sign-ins, that for me will be Conte's last straw because in my opinion, he's borderline about to leave as it is. We've left it so late to get the sign-ins he wants. We're in again for players like Alexandro and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain very, very late on, which is going to annoy Conte because we're not going to be able to get them over the line, before the deadline in my opinion anyway. And I don't see Conte staying past the end of the transfer window. If one, he's threatened to use Costa when he doesn't want to. Two, he doesn't get the players that he wants. And three, is not backed by the board. Now my personal opinion on this is because I haven't really explained it in my opinion. I personally think that we miss Diego Costa a lot. Everyone knows that. We miss that strong physical presence up front. Obviously, Alvaro Morata is adapting to the league and he will be a very, very good striker. But Diego Costa was here, there, ready. He, he was done. He was experienced in the league. If he wanted to go, I'm not sure why we didn't sell him in January to Atletico Madrid. Because, to be honest, if one player doesn't want to play for the club, like a lot of people have said before, it's not the name on the back of the shirt that matters, it's the badge on the front. And if he's causing that much problem to manage, in my opinion, I would have let him go. Obviously, the club didn't want to let him go. Conte probably didn't want him, but he played him up until the end of the season because he got a job done. Even though the club didn't want to sell him, I would have probably left him on the bench if that was what went on behind the scenes. If Costa didn't actually say he wanted to leave repeatedly in January, then... It's a different story. Obviously, let him leave now. It's a hard one because Diego Costa doesn't want to go anywhere else apart from Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid won't pay over the odds for him. Chelsea want to sell him desperately. Conte doesn't want to use him. Diego Costa wants to go back. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen. I think he's going to end up sitting on the bench for another three, four months until January when we can sell him to Atletico Madrid. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. But... That's the way football goes sometimes. When you've got a stern player and a stern manager like this on your hands, you don't really get anything different. So guys, let me know your thoughts on the Diego Costa situation down in the comment section below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you subscribe to my personal channel. Also follow me on Twitter. We can get in some conversations about Diego Costa over there if you wish. If you enjoyed, guys, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Check out 100% Chelsea social media links down in the description below. We are facing Tottenham away on Sunday, so stay up to date with everything about the team and the transfer news by following us all on social media down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.